This review will take a quick look at an additional court appearance of the Golden State Killer. And as you can see, he lost a quite a bit of weight, and his trial is upcoming, and it's unclear how he'll, how he'll uh, plead. And let me get this on the screen here real quick. Rapist Joseph D'Angelo back in court today looking gaunt, frail, and weak. It was a hearing that sets in motion his defense. CBS 13's Lamore Abrams joins us live now outside the courthouse of the Sacramento County Jail where a lot of people were uh, talking about him and what he looked like today, Lamore. That's exactly right. Joseph D'Angelo here for the first time since August looking thinner than ever. Uh, the hearing was, in fact, brief, but for the first time we learned about the cost of this case and the fact that taxpayers will now have to foot the bill for Joseph D'Angelo's defense. Again, though, it wasn't so much his defense, but his physical appearance that had people talking. Joseph D'Angelo's face got looking compared to his appearance just a few months ago, where even then he was noticeably thinner than in his arraignment back in April. What was your reaction to seeing him for the very first time? Uh, he's lost a lot of weight, and he's looking old and frail. Victor Hayes says the East Area rapist tied him up and raped his girlfriend. Forty years later, he hoped to see the former police officer in a different state. I kind of want him to go out as a lion instead of go out as a wimp. But he wasn't so surprised to hear the judge's ruling that the 73-year-old can't afford to pay for a private defense team. The public defender shall render legal services to that defendant. Outside, we tried speaking with that public defender, Diane Howard. What does this mean now for you uh, and now that you're going to be representing this case? I'm not making any comments. But you're the one that's going to be representing this massive case. My office is going to be representing Mr. D'Angelo. The accused East Area rapist, Golden State Killer, listening closely as the judge once again read the heinous charges against him, dating back to the 1970s. From the rapes to the kidnappings to the murders, the case so extensive, the judge saying it could last a decade. But there's one more detail this victim may be coming back for. Yeah, I'm hoping that he, that, that he pleads and, and starts talking. We asked Howard about that, too. Will you tell us about his plea? When will he um, enter a plea? I'm not making any comment about this. I'm sorry. And that public defender also, once again, asked the court to deny the media's coverage of this case. The judge said no, citing the public's right to know. And back outside the court, we met a man who says he was almost victimized by the East Area Rapist. He was there also for the very first time. The incredible story of how he and his wife got away. You don't want to miss this. We're going to have that at 6 o'clock. I have a feeling we're going to be talking about him for a long oh, yeah. time. And that's the quick review of uh, an additional court appearance he made. And his trial is upcoming, and it's going to be uh, quite a trial. And um, Without a doubt, the uh, networks will be carrying it live if they have access to the courtroom. And uh, that should do it.